Hey gang, Zippo. Uh, wore out. Been taking care of a friend of mine and not been sleeping in my own bed. It's got my neck and back all screwed up. I gotta love them therapeutic beds, I'm telling you. Uh, anyway, I've had some questions about how I trailer stuff around the property, uh, either using a vehicle or using a garden tractor. So I wanted to show you guys uh, a couple of things that I use and also a uh, hitch ball system that I've implemented with every vehicle that I've got using three different types of uh, convertible hitch balls. One is a, sorry about the lighting there, one is a uh, made by Master Lock and that's the one that I have on my front slash rear uh, hitch and I'll show you that here real quick. Let me get the camera turned around. Hang on guys. Okay. And what this simply is, I've got a really strong magnet holding my 1 and 7 8 ball on, just on the frame. So when I've got this mounted on the tractor, I've got both balls available because I have both on the property, 2 inch and 1 and 7 8 uh, trailer ball systems. So as you see here, it just lifts up, rotate at 90 degrees, and you take the ball off, switch the ball when you are ready to put your receiver on there. Just slide it on there, lock it down, that keeps that ball from coming off. And again, this is the master lock type, 10,000 pound rating. So, that's that one. And then, we'll come over here to the old Squire. The old Squire, I made up a little class one. Um, and, uh, all I did was just weld a piece of angle iron here. And then, just used U-bolts. Uh, to hold the receiver itself on and there's also it's kind of hard to see but right down here it's essentially just like this like your uh, trailer hitch well there's a piece of that here so I've got three u-bolts on there and I have I've I pulled a uh, 30 foot camper with this and it didn't pull it out I've pulled people stuck in snow out using just this and it has never slipped or pulled out so and this one has a different type of uh, ball system on it and it's called an adaptable and it's, it's not the best design but it works um, I think they were kind of going after the convertible market and the convertible market has got it a little bit better than the adaptable market does because that pin is really hard to get out so hang on here Come on, camera focus. Sorry about the shaky. There we go. There's a little divot on one side, and the divot indicates which side you press on. Uh, as you can see, not real easy to get off. And then once you get the ball off, the pin just slides around in there. You can see it, it just flops around. And that's the way it is for both the 2 inch and the 1 and 7 eighths ball. Um, so, not the best design. They tried. Uh, it does work, but it could work a little bit better. Just a little more cumbersome to uh, use than that master lock one was. But, it all works out great. And this is a lower rated uh, 3,000 pound obviously just being the class one then we'll come out to old blue and take a look at what old blue's got out there all my stuffs oh. <clears throat> hi old blue what you doing um, da -da -dum, da -dum. doesn't look too bad till I get down here to the fender wells and wheel wells okay there goes my neighbors I'm down here. I made myself a step. This is actually off of a, a gas tank off of a, a semi tractor trailer. It's a step uh, that I took and I shortened down just to make myself a step to be able to get up there onto the top to strap ladders and stuff like that down on my um, top of the camper shell. That's why I like a level camper shell versus the uh, camper shells that step up. So. Anyway, you can see I have a locking pin on there, uh, whether I'm in Clifford or Old Blue, they've got locking pins. 
this is a screw type. I just screwed this out. It pulls that sucker out nice and easy. Easy peasy. And that one will come out. Let's paint it up just a little more. We'll put that in a different spot as soon as we get this other hitch in here. Now, a nice thing, uh, I didn't pay retail for any of these uh, hitch mounting systems that I've got. Uh, this is a uh, 5,000 pound max load, 5,000 or 500 pound um, tongue weight, and it's stainless steel. Got this at a pawn shop. Paid 14 bucks for it at the pawn shop. So we'll slide that little sucker in there, get our holes lined up, and I am taking a trailer with me today, so got a little bit of a little bit of wood to move around. that and I typically don't leave anything in in the winter time because they will end up um, with a bunch of road salt and dirt and grime and the sand and the whole nine coming into them so as you can see uh, it's got a hitch cover they come off real easy and this one is similar in design to the uh, convertible but this one or excuse me the well whatever the other one's called this one's called the convertible um, but this one, uh, I actually modified, and I, the only reason I modified this one was just for uh, on-property movement of a trailer that has a two and five sixteenths ball. I got the two and five sixteenths ball right here. Let me grab the other uh, hitch, and I will show you what I did with that one. Compliments of my lovely Craftsman 101 lathe. had a business uh, that was closing their doors and they got rid of a bunch of stuff and I got two of these uh, lower capacity 3,000 pound uh, hitch pins and then the high capacity 10 slash 20,000 pound that's on Clifford um, but I'll show you the difference here let me extend the legs on this tripod to make it a little easier for everybody to see sorry There we go. Okay. Yeah. There's that one. And here's this one. Now, these were identical. They're 3,500 pounds. These were identical. Now, if you look at them now, I'll set them side by side. You can see the difference of what I did. Put this in the lathe, and I turned this down. Because the way this shoulder is on the 3,500 pound, it will not permit you to put the two and five sixteen ball on. It's a very smart design. Um, but since I knew that this pin was only going to be used for either light trailering or, and I didn't compromise uh, the diameter here at all. Stayed right with it. All I did was just radius this edge down enough so that the two and five sixteen ball um, would mount. See, so I'll show you. I'll put the two, try and put the two and five sixteen on the unmodified so you can see what happens. And another nice thing about these convertibles is the pin does not come all the way out. It, that, that's it. That's as far as it goes. It's not coming all the way out. So I will take a line, try to line these up. I don't know if you guys can see in the holes or not, but it does not line up. It will not allow you to push that pin in from the 2 and 5 16 ball. However, you take the one and seven eighths or the two inch ball and they work just fine as you can see okay so that shoulder that you can see right there is just what I radiused here in order for me to be able to go ahead and stick my two and five sixteenths ball on there like I say I will not trailer anything on the highway with a setup like this. This is only done so that I can move stuff around the property or other properties if need be. And I don't recommend that anybody make this modification if all they have is a 3,500 pound rated ball and they don't have a high enough rated hitch receiver to use a 2 and 5 16 ball. 
Um, I am only doing this as a matter of convenience for me. If I have to move something out of my way, if I'm felling a tree and there's a uh, enclosed camp or enclosed trailer or a uh, um, yeah, one of those enclosed trailer or something like that in the way of uh, doing some work. So, but that's that. Um, same setup as on Clifford. Only Clifford does have the high capacity, the high, uh, the the ten thousand pound slash twenty thousand pound rating. Twenty thousand is uh, with the uh, torsion bar setup, um, and Clifford will also be getting the uh, brake um, brake controller installed here in short order because I do have a uh, trailer with electric brakes here on the property that is going to be it's an old uh, camper frame uh, 18 foot camper frame that's going to be getting converted over to be a garden tractor toting trailer so and it has dual axle it's a tandem axle with uh, dual brakes on both so anyway that's it that's all zippo toes we'll catch y'all later I'm out one more thing that's notable about the, uh, I'm getting ready to take off, one of the things that's, uh, other things that's notable about the convertible hitch system is that it also has a uh, neat little safety feature. And it's very simple. Just a cotter pin so that if this nut does come loose, it's not going to fall completely off and you lose your trailer. Well, that's worth mentioning. So if you're going to get a convertible ball system like this, I do highly recommend the convertible, the actual convertible, and you can buy the uh, full set. Let's see, it's one and seven eighths, two inch, two and five sixteenths, and hitch pin uh, at your local Farm Fleet type stores for around forty-five dollars. So it's really a nice, safe, sound investment. You only have one pin, one receiver hitch. And the only thing you have to worry about is whether or not your load height is correct. And for that, I will be getting an updated, uh, an upgraded uh, hitch system that will allow me to uh, raise and lower the level of my hitch ball according to the trailer. Um, and that again will go in Clifford because Clifford will be the beast that'll be pulling stuff around uh, most often. But anyway, that's it. It's Zippo later. Catch y'all on the next one. I'm out.